Hey, this is Leroy, the UFO watchman. And uh, the weather's too crappy to see UFOs today, so I'm probably not going to look at it. Get on the top of the treehouse and try to look at any. Because the only way I'd see one today would be if it landed in the backyard. But I guess I'll talk to Tony. Hey, Tony. Uh, I need to ask you a question. What do you, why do you think that if UFOs come to Earth and they've been coming for centuries, why do you think they're coming? Because I just want to ask the average person. I because they're just as curious about us as we are of them. Well, do what? Probably because they're just as curious about us oh, as we I are of them. Oh, I thought you said cheery. No, curious. Uh, you think that they're coming here... Do you think there's a resource here on, here on Earth that they have need of that they're coming here for? Or do you think that our governments are in league with them? Uh, trading technology? Oh, boy. Well, why ain't, I mean, why can't they get the technology of cancer cure and agents? And, uh, you know, stuff like that. If they're doing that, which I don't think they are, I think, what I think, I think we're forbidden from going past our solar system. Uh -huh. And they're just not telling us. I think we, we, we're probably capable of leaving our solar system. And I don't think it'd be mo any more expensive, maybe in, tra in, in preparation for the astronauts, but I don't think it would be any more, much more expensive than, than sending out telescopes and probes and stuff it's just they want to protect our lives I believe that but I think that there's another reason because they're not pursuing it like they did in the 60s it, it's like the dream died or something what do you think oh probably because now it's a little more we're a little more advanced and it's probably harder for them to get to come around us without us knowing knowing it uh, do you think that they'll ever make contact with us? Maybe. What kind of people do you think that they'll be? No telling. You think that, I think that there's different types. If there's, you know, I've never seen an alien. I've seen what I thought was a flying saucer. But I've seen, I thought, if, if I, if I said, See an alien, I picture them probably humans and the gray ones and probably reptilians. And they probably eat rats or something. Or <laughs> I'm telling what they, they probably eat, don't swallow, they probably don't chew their food. And they probably would gross us all out if there were the reptilians here on Earth. Or, you, know, you gonna eat that chicken, man? And they'd probably swallow it whole. <laughs> yeah. Bones, yeah. fur, everything. Yeah. Feathers. And just think, like, if the fish people, because there was tales of fish people coming to Earth uh, from the Dogon, just think, well, if one was bigger than the other, he'd eat the other one, and then the one bigger than him would eat him. <laughs> and then on that planet, all the big fish would be all that's left. Because uh -huh. the small fish would be breakfast, lunch, and supper. And us, too. Uh -huh. We'd probably be the, on the menu. Uh -huh. you know, sprinkled human flakes or something. Because, uh -huh. you know, they're fish. <laughs> yeah. so they probably sprinkle us like flakes on their soup or something. Pass the human, please. Look at this mess. It's no city. You know what I'm talking about. Here. I'll see you later, folks. Beautiful. Not at all. Yeah, I was messing around in the lobby. 
this a UFO watching, man. <laughs> man, we're under storm warning and I'm out here in this shit. But, yeah, it's not been that bad. It's when there's severe winter storm warning. Oh, yeah, this crap. You can see it coming down. It's winter time, winter time. Oh, yeah, by the way, I seen a no black hat laying in the road. Corn cob pipe and a charcoal nose and our beloved Frosty got ran over, I'm sorry.